Welcome back to Keep It Real Boxing. This is Cypher Box. So, just read another article on Canelo Triple G from BoxingScene.com and the title of the article was this. Canelo, I don't really care to go face to face with Golovkin. Now, on my last video, which I did, uh, did earlier on today, I talked about in there a lot of, about the importance of promotion. Yeah, when you're promoting a fight, a mega fight like this, it's important that, you know, there's plenty of build up yeah because one of the criticisms i've had about the first fight that it was boring dull there was no build up to the fight to get you amped up and excited for the fight uh, to draw in new boxing fans casual boxing fans etc and stuff like that yeah the fight itself did well on pay-per-view i think it did something like 1.3 million but it could have potentially done more if there had been better promotion behind it. Now with this fight, again, there hasn't been a lot of promotion from either Oscar, uh, Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy promotion or HBO. Um, but what has helped build it up is the, I suppose the uh, disdain for each other in terms of the teams. Uh, Triple G and you know Canelo's team, you know they've been going back and forth, trading words and stuff like that, and that's kind of got me excited again about this fight. You know, I was going to tune in and watch the fight no matter what. Being a hardcore boxing fan, why wouldn't I? But if you want to get new boxing fans involved, or you want to create new boxing fans, you want to get casual fans involved, etc. You you want the pay per view to do better numbers than the pay -view, pay per view before, then you need to you need to give it some promotion, right? And it's interesting in here. One of the things that I did talk about was as well that there's going to be no HBO Max Kellerman face-off between Triple G and Canelo. There is going to be a HBO 24-7, but there's going to be no face-off. And it's interesting in this article, uh, as I read the title to you, and this is what uh, Canelo Alvarez said. It's something I don't really care for, Alvarez said Saturday, according to a translator. At the end of the day, I'm going to be meeting him in the ring. So I'm not worried if I don't see see them. It's something that whether they decided to do it or not, I'm not worried about that. Now, as I go down the article, Tom Loeffler had this to say. That didn't come from the Triple G side. Gennady has no problem looking Canelo in the eyes. Usually for a big pay-per-view like this, we'll do a world tour. Last time we were even in London promoting the fight. This time around, after discussions with Golden Boy, they felt that we had announced this for May, pretty much being reset for September 15th. With all the controversy, it makes it even bigger than the first fight. But again, to be clear, the decision wasn't from the Triple G side. Gennady has promoted fights all over the world and he's one of the most open fighters in terms of access to, to his training camp sitting down like this he went he went to a big ufc event up in las vegas so he's always up for promoting the fight and again he has no problem looking canelo in the eyes whether now or during fight week and i think it was the the reading i got it was the canelo side that just wanted to focus on the training and not go through the whole promotion and this kind of makes me wonder as to why we are not seeing, you know, this HBO Max Kellerman face-off that we that you would usually get with, with a fight of this magnitude, and it makes me wonder if Canelo Alvarez is saying he has no interest in going face to face with uh, Triple G at this moment in time, you know, and you got Gennady Glufkin on the other side turning around and saying that, you know, he's got no issues doing that, he's got no problem looking Canelo in the eyes. Um, I'm wondering whether it's the fact that Canelo Alvarez doesn't want to sit in front of Triple G at a table with Max Kellerman in the middle and talk about the whole Clembutrol scandal in terms of how he failed a drug test and having to sit there and make give reasons as to what happened, why it happened and explain himself, you know, because, you know, that would be a good opportunity and especially if it's not just triple g and canelo especially if you if you get like you know sometimes max kellerman in the past he's had the fighters and the trainers there and i'm pretty sure max kellerman will probably say well actually let's have the trainers there too you know and abel sanchez has been pretty good i suppose i suppose at talking trash to canelo and trying to get into canelo's head you know canelo saying he's not working etc stuff like that i spoke about that in lengths in my last video and 
I'm wondering whether it's Canelo Alvarez's fault and his team's fault and Golden Boy's fault as to why we're not seeing a little bit more of a promotion when it comes to this fight. You know, especially in, in terms of the HBO side. So we're going to get a HBO 24-7, I believe. I think it's only going to be one episode. Um, and But we're not going to get a face-off, a Max Kellerman face-off. And I'm wondering whether that's because Canelo Alvarez doesn't want to sit in front of Team Triple G, that's Triple G and his trainer, and then have the audience at home sit there watching him trying to give reasons as to why he's, he failed a drug test. Um, and at the same time, maybe he doesn't want to sit there because Abel Sanchez will start kind of playing with his mind a little bit and getting inside his head a little bit and using the, the failed drug test where he tested positive for clenbuterol as his tool to kind of get inside and get a reaction out of Canelo Alvarez and his trainer. So I'm wondering, is that the reason why we're not getting this face off? You know, it's frustrating. I can understand why Canelo will probably want to try and avoid that. But at the same time, if you really think, you know, you're innocent and you've done nothing wrong, then you should have no fear or any reason not to sit in front of your opponent and say, actually, look, you know, it was contaminated me. I don't care what you lot are saying. So you can, you can say what you want as far as I'm concerned. You know, that kind of attitude you just have to it. You know, shying away from it just makes you feel like there's more to hide. You know, and like I said to you in the past, I've said it, I've said this continuously. I was very critical of Canelo Alvarez and his failed drug test. And I stand by what I said back then when he failed the drug test as well. That hasn't changed. My mindset hasn't changed on that at all. Um, but it's, it's interesting, That's uh, uh, you know, from my point of view. Let me know what you guys think. You know, as always, guys, like, share and subscribe. Until next time, this is Scythebox reminding you to keep it real.